Presently, it is believed that R1 alpha and R1 bravo haplogroups in Y chromosome both originated in Eastern Europe near the European Stipe and Anatolia region. Whereas, it appears that a unique geophysical phenomena which took place on the east coast of India during the last glacial period is responsible for the origin of these two newer genetic identities in that region. It is extremely crucial to establish the site of origin of R1 alpha and R1 bravo haplogroups in Y chromosome on the Bengal glacial coastal shelf during the last glacial period. That would provide us the direction of the migration of the post-glacial period anatomically modern human fraternities from east to west, which started 12,000 years ago. This would also justify the spread of Indian languages and culture to distant lands. A number of Aboriginal tribes live in the Andaman archipelago. However, there is very little discussion about who were these people, when and how did they reach there. The only probable explanation is that they walked into the Andaman archipelago from the Bengal Myanmar coast when a land bridge formed. During the glacial maximum, the sea level subsides by about 400 feet or 130 meters and the Bengal coastline recedes connecting Andamans with the mainland. In the physical map of India, we find the Bay of Bengal region having a very shallow depth. During the last glacial period, for several thousand years, a huge coastal landmass surfaced between the Bengal and Myanmar coast, which is referred to as the Bengal Glacial Coastal Shelf in this book. During this time, the population of two distinct genetic territories, the east coast of India and Southeast Asia, intermixed. And this genetic union produced newer genetic identities like R1 alpha and R1 bravo haplogroups in Y chromosome. As the seawater gradually rose during the interglacial period, this coastal landmass submerged, displacing the settled population. They settled on the Bengal coast and adopted various animal symbols, as mentioned before, as their ethnic identity. To begin with, they were bare-bodied and were known as Naga, popularly known as Nanga in Hindi, who adopted the Naga or serpent as their ethnic symbol. It is possible that their mother goddess was Kali, who is also depicted bare-bodied. Some of these early fraternities eventually migrated following the trans and migration routes pivoting Mount Koilash. The Indus Valley civilization emerged on this route. They continued their journey and established the Egyptian and Greek civilizations. For this reason, we find R1 Bravo reaching Mediterranean coast, Afro-Asian speaking Africa and also in Western Europe. Now let us discuss the present view regarding the identification of the site of origin of R1 Bravo and R1 Alpha haplogroups. This is the present map available regarding the distribution of R1 Bravo haplogroup in the Y chromosome in the world. R1 Bravo haplogroup is found in Europe, Middle East, Northern Africa and in scattered form in Asia. It is observed that though the concentration of R1 Bravo is much more in Western Europe, European stipe, located in extreme Eastern Europe, is considered as its site of origin considering that older divisions of R1 Bravo are found in the East. But in spite of having several pockets of R1 Bravo farther East and on the Bengal coast, any Eastern location as the probable site of origin of R1 Bravo haplogroup is never considered. Interestingly, several pockets of RPH-155, which is commonly known as R1 Bravo 1 Bravo, are found in isolated locations, for example in Bhutan, Ladakh, Xinjiang province of western China north of Ladakh, Yunnan province of southern China close to northeast India, Tajikistan, Turkey and Bahrain. Scholars admit that the presence of these pockets is difficult to explain if the origin of R1 Bravo haplogroup is considered to be the European stipe. Moreover, there is no linguistic continuity between European stipe and Afro-Asian speaking Africa where R1 Bravo is present. 
Thus, there are several unsolved puzzles which create obstacles to accept the European stipe as the site of origin of R1 Bravo haplogroup. Genetic studies involving European population had started a couple of decades ago. Hence, more genetic data of that region are now available. As other territories got included in the genetic studies, unusual R1 Bravo pockets emerged which further complicated the issue. Indian population have been included in the genetic studies comparatively recently. In the recent studies published by the global scholars, a few pockets of R1 Bravo have emerged in India which demands a serious attention. Interestingly, an isolated pocket of R1 Bravo genetic identity is found on the east coast of India, which has not received the required attention so far. Kivisil study conducted in 2003 shows that 6.5% population of West Bengal have R1 Bravo, which is quite significant. These isolated pockets need to be included while charting the early migration paths of the fraternity. In fact, it is even possible that this pocket is the oldest settlement of the R1 Bravo genetic identity from where earliest migration of R1 Bravo started. Once we arrange the migration path of R1 Bravo originating from the Bengal coast, all other pockets of R1 Bravo including the isolated pocket of Bahrain could be connected along the two continuous migration paths. Now let us discuss the present view regarding the origin of the R1 alpha haplogroup in Y chromosome which is exclusively found in the Indo-European speaking territory. Underhill and his team published a number of papers following their periodic studies on the subject. His map on the origin of R1 alpha also suggested that it originated in the Anatolia and European steppe region. However, the map drawn on the basis of a recent study by the same team confirmed that a pocket of oldest R1 alpha haplogroup is found in western India near Gujarat and two pockets of high concentration of R1 alpha zone are found in the Himalayan region. Many scholars thus feel that the site of origin of R1 alpha haplogroup in South Asia cannot be ruled out. Though in this map, Bengal is not shown as one of the important sites harboring R1 alpha in the region, almost all the studies including Underhill studies have confirmed that R1 alpha is found in significant number in West Bengal. In fact, as per the study by Sharma in 2009, 72% of the Brahmin population of West Bengal has R1 alpha haplogroup, one of the highest percentage of R1 alpha in the world. Moreover, Bengali language not only belongs to the Indo-European language branch, but it has a significant component of Sanskrit and Prakrito, two of the oldest languages of the group. It is much easier to detect a pocket of early genetic fraternities in a remote region where the population remained relatively undisturbed like in the Himalayan region and Gujarat. On the other hand, it is extremely difficult to locate a pocket of early R1 alpha in Bengal as this region received a number of reverse migration fraternities over millennia till a recent period from different directions. Thus, Bengal is expected to have the most complex form of genetic admixture posing a challenge for the geneticist to analyze its composition. It is interesting to observe that Bengal region not only has a linguistic continuity with Europe as Indo-European speakers, but it also has genetic continuity with Europe where R1 alpha and R1 bravo haplogroups in Y chromosome are primary genetic identities. It is likely that a very early migration of post-glacial period anatomically modern humans or AMH fraternities like R1 alpha and R1 bravo haplogroups in Y chromosome had taken place from India to the west with their language and culture. The distribution of the R1 bravo haplogroups detected all over the world has a striking similarity with the migration path of the R1 bravo haplogroup proposed in this book. They originated on the Bengal coastal shelf and migrated along the Himalayan rivers as their settlements submerged at the onset of the interglacial period. As they reached the junction at Mount Koilash, they followed two distinct routes. One route descended along river Indus and followed Makran coast to reach Central Africa, entering the continent through the Horn of Africa. In this way, R1 Bravo haplogroup reached Bahrain on this path. 
The other route from Mount Kailash reached Europe through Anatolia or Turkey and European steppe. This migration started 10,000 years ago or before at the onset of the interglacial period, more specifically during the meltwater pulse 1b of the interglacial period. Similarly, about 5,800 years ago, as the settlements of the R1 alpha submerged on the Bengal coast during the meltwater pulse 1c of the interglacial period, another wave of migration started. They also followed the Himalayan rivers from Bengal coast to reach Mount Kailash and divided into two branches. One branch descended along the Indus to Gujarat and Baluchistan, where an old division of R1 alpha was detected by the Underhill genetic study team. The other branch from Mount Kailash reached Eastern Europe, entering the continent through Anatolia and European steppe. Thus, we find another old division of R1 alpha detected by the Underhill team in that region. According to a 2014 study by Underhill, R1 alpha M417 divided into two lineages Z93 and Z282 about 5800 years ago. Z93 is more common in Indian subcontinent while Z282 is in Europe. This suggests that these two lineages dissociated 5800 years ago when R1 alpha spread from India to Eastern Europe across the Himalayas and these two lineages flourished in their respective territories. Both the R1 alpha and R1 bravo haplogroups from India entered Europe through the European steppe and Anatolia or modern day Turkey and hence this region possesses oldest division of both these genetic identities found within Europe. This region thus erroneously appears to be the site of origin of both these genetic identities. 10,000 years ago, R1 Bravo spread to Mediterranean coast, Egypt and Africa with Pali and Prakritu languages. On the other hand, 5,800 years ago, R1 Alpha spread to Eastern Europe with spoken Sanskrit language. It is important that we understand that both R1 alpha and R1 bravo haplogroups in Y chromosome originated on the east coast of India and from there they spread along with their language and cultural characteristics. Only then the archaeological, linguistic and cultural elements of India found all over Eurasia and Africa especially in Egypt would be much easier to appreciate.